Let's go to Ursa Major. <laughs> let's, uh, yeah, that's the only other place to go. We've solved one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, sections. Ursa Major might lead to more. Right, so on first glance, it doesn't seem like there's anything new. It looks like it's just same old aliens, same old ships, you know, some fountains in the middle. So what's the deal? We got these fountains, and now I have a purple and an orange dude in here. Do I even want to have that purple dude in? I'll be honest, I don't want them. But it seems like I have no choice but to pick them up. So I have a, a, an orange and a purple. So let me, in fact, change this section to hit these final two oranges. This is pretty important to me. Because, oh, no, we're not going to be able to drop off this last one. What if, uh, what if I almost begin like, th oh, this is mega stupid, right? What if I pick up an orange and a purple, though? Just a orange and a purple. Come around like this, and I drop these off. Weird idea. Probably not good. I'm going to restart again. This isn't right. And life sucks for me. All right, so what's the deal, right? There's one, two, three, four, five pathways. So... I come in, I go back, I go in, I come back, and I go in once more. So every time, I need to be picking up two and dropping off two when I go in. There's no way around it. Three entries, and there's six monsters with the two-car train. So the train has to be full with a new set of monsters every single time we pass this line. This is how I started again, but there, there really isn't that many ways I could start. Like, this has to be the way I start. What if I just do this? What if I go here? This could make sense. I don't know how I missed this, but yeah, that makes a lot more sense than whatever the hell I was doing. Bruh. Dear God, there's eight of them. Okay, so this is just a big area with a lot of things going on. I find that I personally do better at this sort of stuff. Like, I'm going to get back to here. And then with these two, I'll get like this. And this covers this real easy. It also splits into two, but it seems simple enough. All right, so let's let's loop around like this instead. Make my life easier. Pick these guys up, drop them off, and go this way. Because that's obviously a solution. What could happen? I don't know how I misdrew this line. I swear to God I meant to do this. I don't know what the hell I was doing. <laughs> this was the line I was trying to make. I, yeah, 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 we're fine. We're chilling. So this leaves me a level three. Cool. I'm going to do it before doubling back and going to four. Let's start with this. All right, so there's some donk potential going in the middle here. Do I want to donk right away? I feel like I need to pick up a purple and an orange. Then what's nice is I can drop off the purple here, and then we can never get the second purple in. How sad. I feel like this is always wrong. I think I can rule this out 100% unless if I start with one purple. If I do one purple and do this, then there's a chance. Because now I have two oranges in here. Yeah, this this actually gives a chance. Because then what I can do is drop off the one orange here. I want to, like, pick, drop you off and then pick up this last orange. And then, you know, drop them off. But then I, I can't pick up this purple. Like, this is actually pretty close. Because it gets everything except that one purple. So let me just look at this while I think. It gets everything but the one purple in the middle, so what's the deal? I don't think I want to delete all this. I actually, I do like this start. I could hit up this orange here, and then this purple. We could hit up this purple, and then what I do is I travel here, and I think we've got it now. Oh my gosh. Tricky one. No, these are getting progressively harder. We're into the difficult worlds now. I wouldn't say this is snakebird level difficulty, but I would say this is pretty darn close at this point. All right. I swear this level seems familiar. Can't say how, though. All right, so two oranges maybe drop one off here. And then how do I get to here? Because I'm blocking off that second house. No matter what I do, that's always wrong. I, I like this start just a lot. Maybe do this here. Drop these off. This could give some potential. Yeah, this could. This could. This takes care of both orange, both purples. And this should win. There we go. Love it. It did kind of look like a level of the mystery box. I think it was had to do the stuff on the sides. Orion. I almost said onion. It looks like Orion leads to yet another world. Okay, so there's at least two more worlds. Level five. Two trains? Well, let's start with some purples. I really do think a big purple starts nice. Hit them here. And then what I could do is hit up orange, go here. And now we got this whole section done. All right, so we come around, grab these two purples. 
Okay. Then we hit up one purple house, grab the orange, drop off the orange and the purple, call it a night. Way easier level. Uh, two length train. They need to bring back more three length trains, or maybe even a four length train. I need my brain to expand more along with the length of the train. All right, so here's a little interesting little tidbit. The only way to access these houses is by going through the center. So we have to go through the center with a um, orange and a purple. So here's what I'm thinking. I pick up this purple. God, this is really sloppy. It's fine. I pick up this purple. I don't touch the orange. I come around here. I hit this purple and then I hit this house. And then what I can do is pick up the orange and then, oh, orange is going to hit this house. This orange has got to hit a different house. So I wonder if this is the guy who has to go in here. So I almost wonder if we do something like this first. Then we have an orange in here. And then purple, then an orange like this. And then we get a little purple guy to here. And this hopefully covers everything. Hopefully I don't miss anything. Let's see. Oh, shit. Yep, did it wrong. I'm gonna restart. I thought I, had, I, thought I was onto something. But the issue is we gotta drop off an orange and purple in here. And before that happens, whichever side we come from, both houses need to be filled. Otherwise, the... Dudes will go into those houses. I think I think it's something difficult to consider. So what if I go to here and here and I drop off here? Okay, see, I really just want to go to this house, but then when I go to this house, I have the inevitable inevitable problem. Wait, hold on. This could work. This could work. I'm not crazy. This could work. Well, I'm a little crazy, but I think this could work. Did I mess something up? I swear I didn't. Yes. Nice. I was like, we have to hit that. It was just difficult to get that house, uh, but we got it now. So this path has got to be hit. I can't see it being that tricky, but with the way things panned out, yeah, no, it seems extremely... Si oh, yeah, super simple. I cannot enter like that. This damn thing. I could just restart. I mean, it can't be that bad. How did I even do this in the first place? Like, I was thinking about leaving this open somehow. Because maybe I could, like, I don't know, go around like this. I could do this, actually. This could work. And then I hit these two. This is a long path, but you know what? Slow and steady wins the race. And I think we've got it. This is a transcontinental train. Complete with sleeping cabins and everything. Level 7. We got six aliens again. Another six aliens, two train car one. This middle is such a crazy bait. So you can only pass through the middle once. So we have to be very wise with how we decide to do it. I'm thinking about like hit, start, starting with these two. We hit up this house. Pick you up. Drop this off. I got a purple in here still. Hold on. All right, we got all the purples now. Can I work with that somehow? What if I come around like this? Hit you. Oh, shit. This is it. This is it. And loop around. No donks for, for me. No sorry. This level, this world's actually getting a lot easier now. I don't, it doesn't feel like there's much of a gimmick to it. It just feels like they're a bit more challenging puzzles. But the way, I think the gimmick is just kind of the tight spaces. How, like, there's choke points. It's all about choke points. So... Let's get choke happy. So I'm going to drop these two off here. What I could do is drop off this purple here and then pick up a purple and an orange. And then, you know what? Come, come around here, drop off this purple and then loop around like so. So now the orange is dropped off. So then we should be able to hit this. And then, you know what? I think we've got it. Super easy. Mmm. Yeah, nailing this world. Oh. <laughs> Shit. Does that always happen, huh? Right, let's restart. This seems nice. Like, we've hit these four houses, and now it's just these four. This can't be that bad. Drop this guy off. Come up here. I think I'm still trapped. No, this looks like it works. You know, this definitely should have came sooner. I bet there's something I did wrong. I said there's something. There's no way. There's... Eh, it probably works. You know, when there's so many monsters, it's so hard to keep track, but uh, thankfully it worked out in my favor. Let's uh, build a train. This looks pretty tricky. Yeah, accessing these two monsters is going to be a tough time. Well, I could start like this. Drop off purple guy or orange guy, and now I have two purple, so I picked up him. 
but then I kind of trap this guy. Let me back it up. I don't even know how I want to begin. This one is the first one I've seen that almost looks impossible. What the hell? It has to be an orange and a purple, right? The issue is if I go to this purple, there's only one exit. There's only one entrance slash exit. Maybe I just grab one purple. That's better. How am I getting the last orange right now? Hmm. Well, wait, I can do this now. I can drop off the orange and then what can happen is that I can come around like so, pick up the final orange. And then I don't think I ever pick up these purples, do I? Well, I can drop off two oranges like this, which is pretty cool. Then pick up an orange and a purple. Drop off the orange. Pick up the purple. Drop off the orange. Come back around. Holy shit, we've done it. I think. Please don't tell me I screwed up somewhere because this feels so good. What a... I screwed up somewhere. The purple's in the back seat. Okay, okay, okay. We change this. We change this. We drop them off in the back two houses. We almost had it. Because now we can pick it up. There it is. I caught my first stream. Love your content. Level 10. Oh boy. Eight of them like this. They're really throwing all the possible combinations you have these dudes together in tight spaces to screw with me. Oh man. My brain. I gotta overclock this thing if I want a chance. It seems like these corner purples are the trickiest ones, so what if I go for them first? Alright, well if I do this, let's start on the other side and then go to this so I can be next to the purples while coming out. Start like this, come around here, grab you, and come back around, grab these two here. And then pick up orange purple, drop off this here, now I got two oranges. And I'm a little sad that it doesn't quite work. Because this guy, this little buddy is trapped. And I so badly want to just come up here, but we can't get to you. Game says no. Everything but one orange is like this. So let's back it up a little bit. Now I have two or oranges and that should win. Uh, this purple though. Hold on. I set it up in a way that probably might not work out for me. So maybe I want to back this up a little bit. Maybe I want to hit up this and then come around here. So I can drop off this orange, pick up the purple, drop off the other orange, pick up the last orange, come around here, drop off the purple, and pray that it works out. This looks good. Dude, we're crushing these. Level 11. The penultimate level of Ursa Major. Nah, let's start with the purple. So let's just... Let's just do it. And then here's how it goes. All right. We drop off one purple like this. Come around back again. Pick you up. Oh, hey, we're going for a ride. And then I come around here. So now what's nice is that, well, we fucked ourselves. That's not nice, but that is a consequence. Uh, we have gotten all oranges except for one. Let's just restart it. Let's chill out for a moment. I still think there's some merit to going for two purples first. Two purples. Maybe coming in on the inside. Quickest path to victory is what I'm drawing out right now. If I pick up this one, kind of sucks for me, doesn't it? Kind of sucks. Even though I get to drop these off, what happens is I pick up the two oranges and then this third one never sees the light of day. But you know what? This is dangerously close. So, th this seems like the start. What if I come through here? Did I do this yet? Maybe not. Uh, Technically not losing, but it's pretty much over now. Yeah, because I might get into this house or really. It's not happening. And this, again, gets me nowhere. Or does it? Wait, this looks right, doesn't it? Could be wrong. Let's run it. Let's see what's wrong with this. This looks pretty solid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this world is really tricky. On to Onion. First one. What's the gimmick? What the hell is this? Oh, it's a crossroads. So I could probably build here and then build like that. I was wondering when this was going to happen. I'm like, when can we have tracks that cross over each other? Okay, awesome. This this is the mechanic I was waiting for. Uh, let's do... Well, how do I want to start this? Pick you up, run it back, drop you off here, and then come across and exit. Crisscross applesauce. Yeah, this should spice up the game. I was a little dis disappointed by the last world because it didn't seem to spice it up enough. This is the spice I was looking for. All right, so here we are again. One crossroads. So what I'm wondering about is how I want to go about dropping off the oranges at their houses. First orange makes sense. Second orange, not so much. So what if I pick up orange purple, drop off purple here, come around like this maybe? Then we pick up the orange and now we have two oranges. Drop off an orange, pick off a purple. This seems pretty solid to me. 
I forgot to drop this off. But we, we, we're like 90% of the way there. I definitely even meant to do that too. I just brain farted the second I got there. Level 3. Alright, it is a single passenger car this time for four aliens. Definitely make use of the space we have. Can go both ways. I think I'll try going right first. Def definitely not doing that right. Let's maybe change this up a little. I just realized that dropping off the purple seems to be impossible right now. So something's wrong. I think we do the simple thing where we just drop it off the nearest house. I mean, that makes so much sense. And this orange, pick him up. I mean, do I ever just go across like this? Could, could, yeah, this makes a lot of sense, I guess. It's not my cleanest solution. <laughs> but it is a solution. Alright, two train vehicle. Two uh, seat train, rather. Crossroads here. Donk potential. I'm not even sure how I want to use this thing. Do I even start like this, maybe? Yeah, no, that's, that's not making sense. It's weird that the crossroads is here and not over here. I mean, if it was over here, it'd be way too easy. So something's got to happen in the beginning. I'm thinking about just barely squeaking by and then dealing with the crossroads roads, or maybe I should deal with the crossroads first. We donk here, I suppose. Drop these two off here. Pick you. What the fuck? All right, for a change of pace, we're going to go on this side, even though they're basically identical. Doing this makes absolutely no sense, but doing this makes a little sense. This makes a little s no. Wait, yeah, it makes sense. This makes sense. This definitely makes sense. <laughs> ah, man, my commentary is deteriorating. So we do go for the crossroads early on because it's close to the entrance. I mean, this makes as much sense as it's going to make. That's a big ass world right there. They're really gonna do us dirty here, aren't they? A lot going on there. So I want to hunt for level 5 before considering Nova. Let's uh, just focus on the other exit so I can locate level number 5. So, I feel like I was pretty close in the solution I had. It's just when I pick up this purple guy, what I would want to do is kind of come around like so. And then pick you up, drop you off here, call it a day. Let's find level 5. I am not good at this. Let's reset it. Pick you up, drop you off at the closest one. Come back around, pick you up. Can I maybe dodge this one? We don't hit this house. Doesn't happen. Ref didn't see it. And you would think that I was really close all along, but decided to just change something. Yeah. There we go. We don't even use the crossroads. Level five time. Okay, two crossroads, five dudes. All right, so we hit this up as a real easy one. Eh, maybe I'll hit up you next. I'll kind of come around here or so. Pick up this guy. Come around here. Pick up the purple. Bring him to this house. And this seems way simpler than the previous level. what I miss? Absolutely nothing. Okay, a lot happening. A single car. Single, single seat to get four mon- Sorry. Single seat to get six monsters. Good God. We pick up a purple first. What do I do with this thing? This utilizes it. So then I get these two for free. And then I pick up you, come around here, and now we've utilized our crossroads. We donk, naturally. Let's see if I can have this happen to be a different path. I think I can, actually. I mean, this seems like it works. Slightly adjust around the pass and yeah. Use the donk. Set up exactly what we want. I did not think this sort of thing would be possible. I did not think I'd be able to get six dudes home with a single uh, single car in the train, but here we are. Level seven. All right, so a two-seater for four monsters. The challenge is weaving in and out here. All right, so here's one thing. I pick up Orange Man, come around here. Pick up Purple Man now, and then I drop off Orange and Purple, and I get the hell out. And why would I not just do something similar over here? Well, that part doesn't quite work, does it? Maybe I don't immediately go to here. Maybe what I do instead is a little thing like this. So I drop off the orange and purple, pick up this orange. Not quite right, but I wonder if it has something to do with these. Okay, I'm gonna slightly reset, but I'm gonna keep this idea in mind. Because right now, I either cannot escape this area, or I cannot get the purple to its destination. I wish I could just do this, but it seems that when you enter the crossroads, you have to go across. There is no turning on the crossroads, which makes sense. I mean, look at the tracks. It's obvious. What if I just do this? 
Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. <sighs> Level 8? Yes, it's back! The three length train! I've been waiting for this moment. The return of Big Train. So how's this gonna go? Big Train actually does make things quite difficult, but I don't give a shit. What if I pick up two and then pick up one of these perps? Maybe you pick up this guy, drop off perp here, and then pick up another perp. Okay, let's say I pick up two purples and an orange though. Let's just say I do that. What's to stop me from doing this? Uh, space. Space is an issue. Because I cannot pick up this final orange now. Oh, we drop off one purple, pick up both of these. Oh my gosh. Tricky, but not too tricky. The only thing I'm going to be bummed out a bit, bit is if somehow it doesn't pick it up properly or it doesn't drop off that last guy, but we're good. Okay. Four, ooh, four crossroads, four monsters, one seat in the train. So going to any one of these houses kind of sucks. Because once I'm in, I mean, there's no real coming out. Well, I can do this once. Maybe I should take advantage of that one time. Let's then set this up. So now I got to come around. And then how on earth do I deliver to the final house? I don't think I can do that. Yeah, just which order of the paths do I want to go? Maybe I start by dropping off here. So notice how if I happen to pick this guy up and dr dr uh, drive through here, the final path through the center will be going towards these monsters. So what I want is for the final path to be going away from these monsters towards the exit or just in a way that will let me access the exit. And I think the way that I access the exit is actually by going side to side. I got to rephrase this in a way I can think about it better. Or maybe I don't even think at all. Maybe I just do. Don't think, just do. Travel like this, maybe come here, pick this up, go the long way. I mean, I want to do this real badly, but then this pathway is pretty much blocked off always. So I could start like so. Well, this is interesting. This is interesting. Oh, this is really interesting. I think we've got it. Let's see. So the trick was I had to make sure one of my paths would actually go in the direction from here to over there. This path, this second path was the trick. Uh, let's do level 10. Alright, a two-seater again. Drop them off, pick these up, come around here. Weird path. I know. Let me just play it through. So the problem with this is that it blocks off this top orange guy. That's the biggest deal. But what I could try doing is going here first, then picking up the orange guy. Then we're never getting to this house. So that's really not the move. I almost like this. Like, it's kind of close, but it's not enough. Weird little combo. Let's just back it off. This is so weird. Maybe I'll do one of each. I feel like I want to end on these two coming from these two, but that might have nothing to do with the solution at all. Passing through here in the beginning also seems like a waste. So we could go back to coming around like this. Maybe coming around like so. Zigzagging through here. What if I do something like so? Drop these off. And then I pick up two purple guys. Come around here. Drop off the purple dudes. Pick up this orange. Pick up this purple. And we've got it done. I think. Level 11. Two seats. God, there's so much. These are getting so involved. At least with the other ones, I would have some sort of guarantee where I knew how to begin. This, I have no guarantee. I mean, what's wrong with just going through like so? What if I do something like this? Hit this purple, come around here. When do I hit this orange then? Feels like never. Well, hold on. Wait, I still have an orange in here, which is bad. That's really bad. I could also do this. Yeah, I could also do this. So what's nice is now I can pick up these two, drop off the orange, come around. Hold on, watch this then. This isn't right. Don't watch this. Don't know what I'm talking about. I can do this. And I think hit everything. Well, let's find out. Barely even use the crossroads. Well, I mean, we do use them actually quite a bit. Level 12, knocking out Orion. Let's do this. All right, it's a one -er. Lots of crossroads, four dudes next to houses they don't belong in. And what I almost want to do is come out like so. Set this up like this. So we dropped off the purple and this house dropped off this purple. Let's take this orange now. 
This isn't quite right, but it almost is. Yeah, we got this orange. And it just is almost doing what we want it to do. Damn near, it's just a little bit off. Well, actually, how do I drop off this orange and then pick up this purple? What in the fuck? All right, so let's actually get this straight. Let's draw all the mandatory uh, tracks. We have to have a track that at least kind of hits all these corners in the correct order. We have to drop off, then pick up. Every single one of these corners is mandatory. Probably don't even need this or that. Kind of makes me see options. Do a snake around here and then even snake here. Set myself up for future success because I could come around here then. And I could exit in two ways. Come around here, drop this off. Ooh, that makes this useless. What just kind of sucks is how I had some sort of almost a symmetry going on, or at least the symmetry in my head that just doesn't work once you pick up the first guy because there isn't a thing of picking up then dropping off. It's like picking up and then avoiding this. This is even better use because now I can really crossroad it up. But this uses up everything, so that seems unlikely and inefficient. But I wonder if doing some sort of path like this could actually be good eventually. Maybe I'll come around like here. Oh, this one's really close too. This one's really close too. All I need to do is connect this path and this path. Um, can this be it? No, it can't. Uh, because I have to drop this guy, the orange guy off before I pick up purple guy. Damn it, this is so close, it just doesn't pick up purple guy. Let me let it run. It's so close. Fucking hell. So, in this area, I have to go counterclockwise. This area, I have to go clockwise. This area, I go neither clockwise nor counterclockwise, because it's the beginning. And this area, I need to go counterclockwise. Well, since I don't use this as a crossroads, maybe I can be more space efficient. Maybe I can use this area to my advantage better. Almost like this. Oh, it's done. Oh my gosh, it's done. <laughs> That's how I'm gonna end it. Thank you very much. Thank you everyone for coming out. We have nailed nine worlds. Nova might be the last, the 10th and final world. 